All right, guys, this, it's time for another one of those good old toy hauls brought to you by me. <laughs> so last week on Thursday, I decided to go into my local Walgreens, which is like a drugstore pharmacy, and I found two things. That was on Wednesday, last Wednesday. I found this. Da, 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 da. Yes, it's the Techno, the Hazard Viper from the new G.I. Joe line. Uh, I bought it for about $11.99, which is a little expensive for, for a three and three quarter inch figure. This is a repaint of, um, of the Volcano Viper that came with one of those drill things from G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra, the movie line. So I got the Hazard Viper. And I also picked up this. The Iron Grenadier. Which is, I picked up the two cool guys. They had um, Stalker. They had Sergeant Stalker, who's here on the card. But I... I didn't like the character. He didn't look cool. Not as cool as these two guys. See? Coolness? More coolness. I did go to Forbidden Planet yesterday. And they had um, all of these. They had the Cobra Trooper. The Iron Grenadier. The Cobra Viper. The Hazard Viper. And uh, Sergeant Stalker. But the only ones that I'm interested in this line are the... For now, are these two guys. So I picked these up at Walgreens. If you have a Walgreens nearby, I would recommend you check it often. So for Labor Day, I went to visit my sister, my sisters, and um, we went to a shop right that was close around there at night. And I picked up these Storm Shadow. From Rise of Cobra and Scarlet. The reason why I picked up these old beat up figures was that if you had a ShopRite card, which my sister had, you could get these guys for the low, low price of $2.50. So I picked them up. I don't think they're going to go in the store because um, the Rise of Cobra figures that I have um, haven't been selling well. But. I guess for my collection. $2.50 each. So, on the way back home from... The way back home <laughs> from Labor Day, I decided that... Uh, let's go into Walmart. So, to Walmart we did go. Um, I was amazed to see that Walmart had Marvel Universe figures, but... All the ones they had, um, I already had. They had comic packs too for like regular price for like fourteen sixty something. But when I went to the clearance aisle, I picked up this. Uh, what well, X Men Origins Electronic Claw Wolverine? I picked this up for a low low price of. Um, eleven dollars yep you can find this in um in the x-men first class colors for twenty bucks um i was thinking about putting it up on ebay but seeing how you can get this in toys r us for twenty dollars i guess anyone could just pick them up and i like wolverine so i could go snicked <laughs> So that's another thing that I picked up. So after we came back um, that same Monday on Labor Day, I decided uh, let's let let me go down to um, Toys R Us Times Square. Yay! It must be open. They must have new things. It's a holiday. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't have any new things. <laughs> 
I was able to find a Deadpool Taskmaster comic pack, but I decided to leave it, leave it, and um, that brought up speculation in my mind that maybe the Power Man and Iron Fist and the Spidey Cap Britain comic packs are out because the the Silver Samurai and Wolverine and Deadpool comic packs are supposed to go out with them. But I didn't want to go home empty handed so I decided to pick up this. Whoop. This is the Vehicle to Hero Transformers crossover. It's the black costume Spider-Man vehicle. It's a cool vehicle and I like the black costume. I told my um, girl that I would love to find a Wolverine. Oh, I want Wolverine. I already have this guy. I'm going to review him and Spider-Man together. And I've seen this Hulk on clearance in Target a long time ago, but it was so ugly. So I picked up this for the low, low price of $7.49. Usually these things retail around $15, but oh well. What you going to do? I just hope the the quality of the plastic isn't as bad as the tran as the Star Wars Transformers because I have like four of those and they're horrible. So then after that, I decided to walk down to um, Forbidden Planet, <laughs> and in Forbidden Planet, I I picked up this again. Yes, for thirty bucks. Um. I just want to have a Deadpool that I can keep loose, like my for my loose collection. This p comic pack is in um, Hasbro Toy Shop. No, I'm trying to raise it. This comic pack is available in Hasbro Toy Shop, so if you you want it, buy it. It's twenty dollars. Shipping will probably be ten dollars, so I justify the price. 30 bucks so I picked up another one of these I also decided to pick up this just so I can catch up on my Marvel stories what's wrong with Iron Man's head so and uh, this also serves as inspiration for me to draw stuff I'm really stoked about this I want to get this so after leaving Forbidden Planet, um, me and the girlfriend walked down to um, Strand's Bookstores, which is like on the other corner of Forbidden Planet. I've never known that it was there ex um, until one night we, we were out late and um, Forbidden Planet was closed and we walked down the block. And there was strange bookstores so I decided to complete the collection because I already had volume 3 and I picked up X-Force volume 1 for the low low price of $7.95 I think that strange bookstores is my new new bookstore it's like a comic book convention without the hassle <laughs> There, some of their things are priced well, like the um, regular price of this was fifteen ninety nine, and they're selling it for seven ninety five. That's basically like half off. Some of their stuff is cheap, but some of it is regular price, so so. But they have a large large selection of books and stuff. If you're in New York, if you live in New York, I would recommend you visit Strand's Bookstore. It's, um, the address is 828 Broadway at 12th Street. You can check the website. Uh, so I picked up Volume 1 of X-Force, which is, um, really getting me back into comics. I like the parental advisory and the ultra violence and I picked up volume 2 which is old ghost 
that by the way is Domino. I thought I would have thought it'd be Mystique, given how many times they use Mystique like being the sexy gun toting mutant. But it's um Domino. Here's the back. So I picked up volume one and volume two, which I shall read and enjoy. So yesterday um after I went down to my idea was to go to image anime and pick up the gigantic battles they had black goliath and they had the frost giant for forty dollars but i had seen that like about three months ago so when i went back it wasn't there it was gone so with my head <laughs> hanging i I either had I made the decision I either could go to Times Square or go to um, Forbidden Planet but since Times Square I I was there like at the beginning of the week on Monday and there was nothing there I don't think there's anything new out like I already got the latest wave and uh, the Disney store is always empty so I can't I I can't buy scorpion or the lizard or that cool cosmic spidey that they have <laughs> I decided to go to Forbidden Planet and lo and behold if I can I'll put a picture here I saw this it's the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 pack just like this Whip. It was in Forbidden Planet. I was thinking of picking up the Fantastic Four, three, four uh, three pack or four pack if you count Herbie. But I saw the Guardians of the Galaxy and I was perplexed. I was thinking about buying it, but Rocket. Ra I was looking at Rocket Raccoon. It looks like he only has articulation in his head. And Jarax isn't a character I, I like. I mean, I like his old costume. It's like this bit, he has like this head cow, a cape, like this purple and green suit. I like that costume, but this Drax with the knives, who I'm sure uses Warpath's body, I didn't like. But Star Lord looks awesome. One of them had his helmet like with the with the top it was a little tilted to the side, so I'm thinking the helmet's removable. I was gonna buy it to be like the first guy to review it on YouTube, but I'm sure FX Friends already did that. <laughs> but um <laughs> he gets all the stuff before it's like if you're into Gundam our robber 184 beats you to the punch if not it's FX friends if you're into like Marvel or action figures but anyway <laughs> I I decided $30 was too much for two figures one that I didn't like a little statuette of Rocket Raccoon which I like um I'm liking Rocket Raccoon now. I might pick up Guardians of the Galaxy when I go to Strand Bookstore. But it was I think it was too much. Thirty bucks it was too much. I'm hoping that when it comes into com into stores like Target and Toys R Us, I could get it for cheap for twenty dollars. At least I'll be saving ten. Uh the Fantastic Four I decided not to pick it up because um listening to Marvelicious Toys, the podcast, uh Justin said that that the Fantastic Four pack is basically a, a peg warmer. It's the easiest one of all of them to find. And um they're only showing up at Walmart for the time being. So after being disappointed and not picking up any other any other three packs I decided to go back to Strange Bookstore. I picked up this Prelude to Deadpool Corpse for seven fifty. Originally, it's um fourteen ninety nine, but the 
the thing is, <laughs> I, I'm liking Deadpool. The first issue in this mini series is drawn by the worst artist in the world, Mr. Rob Liefeld, where he still gets work. I mean, <laughs> I wish I got work. At least he's working, and some people are paying him to work. But with him and Frank quietly, they <laughs> I don't like their artwork. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys do, but I don't. So I picked that up, and that was yesterday. So today, I went, I got a haircut, and I went into my um, one of my local discount stores, and I picked up this. I was really surprised. I, usually, they don't have anything in the store, but voila, here it is. They had all the ships, but for some reason, I mean, they were all the battle damaged versions. So they had the D battle van damaged. The refit was the only one that was nice and clean. They didn't have the original Enterprise. They had the battle damaged Reliant and the battle damaged Klingon Bird of Prey. Ah. So that's it for my toy haul. Um, thanks very much for watching. I will get to making videos and um, subscribe. Rate this video if you like it and comment. And um, hmm. that's it. <laughs> Bye.